All digital computers use the binary system for representing data of all types, including numbers, characters, sounds and pictures. The binary system uses just two symbols to represent all information. A 1 and a 0. In a computer, this can be represented by an electrical current or circuit that can exist in one of two states. Either the current is flowing or it is not. The current is on or it is off. The voltage can be high or low. And a computer can then interpret this into ones and zeros. So, how do you store or represent, say, the number 25 as a pure binary integer? First, let's look at the number waiting line that we are familiar with and we've grown up with since primary school. Our number system is called deanery. It's a base 10 number system. Dean meaning 10. This is because we have 10 unique numbers, the numbers 0 through 9. All other numbers in our system are made up for combining these numbers together. Because of this, the deanery number waiting line multiplies by 10 every time we move to the left. Our first column has a waiting of 1. Our next column has a waiting of 10s, then a 100s, then a 1000s, and so on and so forth. The number 300 and 57 is stored as 3 lots of 100 plus 10 lots of 5 plus 7 lots of 1s. With a binary or base 2 number system, the number waiting line therefore must multiply by 2 every time we move to the left. This gives us a waiting line of 1 then 2, then 4, then 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on and so forth. Every time we move to the left, we are doubling because we're in a base 2 number system. So let's go back to our question and let's see how we fit the number 25 into binary. The first thing we have to do with this waiting line here is say how many 128s can you fit into 25? We're starting on the left. The answer of course is that no 128s will fit into 25. So we write a zero under this column. Next we look at how many 64s you can fit into 25. Again the answer is zero. How many 32s can you fit in 25? Again it is zero. Now we get to the 16 weighted column. How many 16s can we fit into 25? The answer is 1, so we write 1 under that column, and we have 9 now left over. We now move to the next column. We have 9 left over. How many 8s can we fit into 9? The answer is 1, so we write 1 under the column, and we have 1 left over. We now go to the 4s column. How many 4s can we fit into 1? 0. We still have 1 left over. How many 2s can you fit into 1? It's 0, 1 left over. And finally, how many 1s can we fit into 1? The answer, of course, is 1, with nothing left over. So, the deanery number of 25 in binary is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. We can prove this by adding up the weight of the columns that have 1s in. We have a 16 column plus an 8 column plus a 1 column and 16 plus 8 plus 1 equals 25. Your turn to have a go. Pause the video and try to do the reverse. Translate the pure binary integer 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 into deanery and see what you come up with. 
The first thing you should have done is taken the binary number and placed it underneath the base 2 binary waiting line. So you go 1, 0, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. We now simply add up the weightings of the columns that have 1s in. So we have a 64 plus a 4 plus a 2 plus a 1 for an answer of 71. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 in base 2 binary equals 71 in base 10 deanery. Now on the title slide of this video it said know the difference between unsigned binary and signed binary. At the moment we've only looked at what's called unsigned binary which is why we're only able to represent positive numbers from naught upwards. Take a look at our video on two's complement to see how you represent negative numbers in binary.